In this video, we'll discuss dividing polynomials by monomials. All right, so let's start with something we're familiar with. All right, here we have a monomial, 35x to the fourth z cubed, divided by another monomial, negative 7x squared z to the seventh. And we're really just going to follow the rules of exponents that we had before when we, when we learned how, when we were dividing and had the same base, uh, what we do with the exponents. All right, so 35 divided by negative 7, well, that, that's easy, that's just negative 5. Right? But now we have x to the fourth divided by x squared. Well, since the bases are the same, we keep the base and subtract the top exponent minus the bottom. So 4 minus 2 is 2. And then we go to the z's. We say, all right, we have z in the top and the bottom. So we keep the base and we do top exponent minus the bottom. Well, 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Right, and it's always good uh, to write uh, the exponents uh, so that they are positive. That's a, just a better habit to get into, unless directed otherwise. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative five x squared, and we're going to bring this z to the fourth down below. Right, and that is what this simplifies down to. Okay. Another way to think about it is you have three z's in the numerator and seven z's in the denominator, so you cancel all that, you're going to leave four z's left in the denominator, right? Okay, so that's, but this is all very similar to what we did before, right? Because it's just a monomial divided by a monomial. So now let's expand out to something else. So before we get to that, recall that with fractions, if you had the same denominator, you know, get a common denominator, like the c's, then you could rewrite this as um, this numerator plus this numerator and get back over here on the left. Right? That's how we add fractions. So all we're doing this time is saying, hey, we, we, that, uh, that idea uh, goes in the other direction as well, right? If we have a plus b all over c, then we can rewrite that as a over c plus b over c. Everybody agree? Okay, so we're just thinking of it uh, uh, in a different way. All right, well, this is how we're going to take care of polynomials in the numerator there divided by a monomial in the denominator. Okay, we're going to write out individual um, fractions. Okay, so let's try this one. 5y plus 10, all of that divided by 5. So you have the polynomial 5y plus 10 divided by the monomial 5. So we can rewrite this as two fractions. 5y divided by 5 plus 10 divided by 5. Everybody agree? And then just simplify each fraction. 5y divided by 5 goes to y. 10 divided by 5 goes to 2. So this just simplifies down to y plus 2. That's how we're doing the division. All right, that makes sense? Let's try another one. All right, so 10y cubed minus 6y squared plus 8y minus 4, that's the polynomial. We're dividing all of that by the, minom by the monomial 2y. So this time we're going to have 1, 2, 3, we're going to have four fractions to set up. So 10y cubed divided by 2y. I'm going to write it this way, minus 6y squared divided by 2y plus 8y divided by 2y minus 4 divided by 2y. Everybody see that? Okay, so you just set up four individual fractions and reduce each of those things down. 10y cubed divided by 2y is going to go to 5y squared, so 5y to the second power. Minus 6y squared over 2y is going to go to minus 3y. And then plus 8y divided by 2y. The y's go away. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then 4 and 2. Let's see, that's going to leave a 2 on the top and a y in the denominator. And so this is what we get after we divide this polynomial by the monomial 2y. All right? Okay, I want to do one more. All right. So this time we're going to write up three separate fractions. So let's do negative 30 a squared b squared divided by negative 10 ab. Whoops. Make that better. Um, minus 15 a squared b divided by negative 10 ab. Yeah, we need to take that negative 10, that negative with us there. Plus 10 ab squared 
divided by negative 10 AB. So write that out first, where you have all the individual fractions, and then just go back and reduce each fraction. So negative 30 over negative 10 would give you a 3. A squared over A would give you an A. And B squared divided by B gives you a B. So, right, so this first fraction simplifies down to 3AB. All right, so then we go to this next thing. We have, now notice here, we've got 15 and divided by negative 10. All right, that's going to be a negative number. But then we've got this negative also out here. So minus a negative number is going to change to a plus. All right, recall that. And we get 15 and 10 reduces down to 3 halves. And we have a squared over a, which is going to go to a in the numerator. And the b's cancel out, divide out to 1. So this second fraction here goes to positive 3a over 2. Everybody see that? And that minus a negative there, that's why this changed to a plus. And over here we've got plus, and this fraction right here is negative, so that's going to change this to putting a minus there. And we do 10 over the 10 goes away to 1, and then a over a goes away, and b squared over b is just b. All right, so just be careful of the signs when you're doing the division. And rewrite them up as individual fractions and just reduce them um, each separately. That's it. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.